Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing my story time kind of gameplay that I usually do. So let's get right into it here. So today's story time is going to be about my experience taking uh, soccer at my uh, local community college. And the class was called Kinesiology 352. And basically, for those of you that don't know, uh, Kinesiology is pretty much like PE stuff, but they kind of give it a, give it a fancier name. And thinking of uh, my... Uh, community college is sort of known for their uh, kinesiology uh, classes, so uh, you know, I thought that, you know, why not take something that I enjoy? And that of course would be um, soccer or football, as the Europeans and Latino people say it. And pretty much I got into football because um, I think back then when I was watching YouTube, I was watching a guy, I think you guys know him, his name is KSI. Is a British Nigerian YouTuber who was very, very famous for, you know, uh, doing FIFA gameplays and that kind of stuff. Um, so I kind of got into FIFA because of him. So basically, I took like a beginner's uh, soccer class because, you know, I wasn't any good at all. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't very athletic. I usually sit at home a lot. You know, like I wasn't really the type to, you know, um, you know, go out and, you know, enjoy my time, you know. I was kind of the person to just play video games and to pretend that, you know, this was me, you know, if, if I were, you know, a good soccer player, you know, this is how I would play and whatnot. But anyways, um, pretty much the class was uh, mostly majority, uh, mostly Mexicans, and it's not like there's anything wrong with that. Um, you know, you have to understand that this is a, you know, a very popular sport that the Mexicans, the Latinos that they play in their home countries. And I kind of felt like an outcast, to be honest, but there was this one other Asian guy. But we didn't really talk, though, so it was kind of weird. But I remember showing up for, like, the first day um, where we had to, you know, um, sit in the bleachers and listen to our professor lecture. You know, I definitely um, felt some sort of, uh, you know, some sort of look of, like, oh, you know, what is this Asian guy doing here? You know, I definitely felt a bit of uh, a discrimination, but honestly, it wasn't anything too bad, to be honest. Um, I think they were just kind of surprised that, you know, that an Asian American like me would, you know, be taking their kind of, uh, their kind of sports. Um, but pretty much, um, every day for the most part, I would arrive at eight thirty. Class would start at nine, and I would um just kind of you know talk with a few of my classmates. And if we were lucky, uh, the ball boy would give us um some soccer balls, and we would you know pretty much just you know kill time by uh, messing around and whatnot, and you know just trying to uh you know get ready for the the day to start. I guess. Pretty much the class was from like 9 to 10, 25 or 10, 30, so it wasn't too long, but you know, it was whatever. And also every day um, we had to do like um, like drills and skills and whatnot, like every single day with a warm up for like maybe 3 to 5 minutes. And then after that, the professor would kind of make us do drills and whatnot. And obviously I wasn't the best because, you know, um, soccer wasn't really my kind of thing in real life. Um, it was more of um, the video game that I kind of uh, got my interest in. So to be honest, I wasn't very good at all. Um, I guess when we were actually playing soccer, when we, when we were actually playing the games afterwards, it would be like maybe 30 to 45 minutes. So it was roughly around like the duration of this gameplay, you know, like uh, 45 minutes in total in terms of uh, the soccer rules and whatnot. And as for the playing position, because I'm a smaller and shorter and skinnier uh, person, I chose to be a left back because most of my teammates were much more experienced than me. Most of them kind of knew what kind of position they were naturally good at and what positions they could play. So for me, I was kind of like, you know, given the very defensive role of, you know, um, guarding the goalkeeper in case, you know, the opposition gets past our offensive and um, midfield kind of, um, you know, teammates. And I remember this one time um, when we were playing soccer, I got like a little bit of a cut because in soccer you have to buy like those sort of uh, cleats. Even though the grass is fake, you know, you still got to buy like those cleats because they're designed for the sport in particular. And I remember one time um, I was kind of like running back because, you know, we cleared a ball away or something like that. And I remember there was like a, I remember I kind of felt like a little bit of pain and I was like, what the hell, you know, like, why am I feeling pain? Because nothing happened to me. And then I looked down on my ankle and I found out that there was like a little gash. And it pretty much happens because of soccer, you know, um, with the cleats in general. Um, the heel side of the shoe is very, very sharp. So it kind of like digs in and digs out. And 
you know, like also the reason why I didn't really get into soccer that much uh, longer was because of, you know, the fact that, you know, it's just kind of painful, honestly, you know, like watching people, you know, tackle each other, watching uh, injuries, you know, people getting knocked down, like it was a very, very physical sport and maybe I should have uh, thought about this. Yeah, anyways, um, also soccer too, it was like um, sometimes when you're running, you kind of feel like the heel kind of like dip in a dip, dip out, or sometimes when you're walking, like it would just be so tight and it would really um, kind of bother me sometimes because I couldn't really focus of, you know, this is kind of sort of numbing pain, I suppose. But eventually, um, I lasted for around four weeks until I decided to, you know, just drop the class. And there are many reasons why I dropped the class. One of the reasons would be because um, we... I think for a midterm, we had to like, um, you know, show our professor our skills and obviously I was like very, very shit at the, the show, so I didn't want to embarrass myself. But I think the biggest reason was mainly because I just didn't enjoy it and I felt like I didn't really fit in, you know, like I felt like um, I was just playing soccer because I wanted to have fun, you know, because th that was my kind of purpose. Um, but as with any sort of class in college, you know, the, the whole point is not really to have fun, the whole point is to, you know, like learn and develop and you know, make sure that you know this uh, material very, very well. So I guess I was coming into um, this class of, of uh, wrong intentions, I suppose. And also the thing is that the professor in general, he's uh, from Cuba, he's very, very old, and he's very, very, uh, how do I say, he's very, very disillusioned because he keeps claiming like, oh, back in my day, you know, I used to lead like these teams and blah, blah, blah. Back in my days, I used to win, you know, trophies of this team, and he always seems to, like, harken back to the glory days. And as much as I respect him for that, you know, I just think, you know, you show winning too much, and, you know, why do we care, honestly? <laughs> like, I don't think anyone really cared about his lectures, to be honest. And he also kind of, um, he also had this sort of saying, is that, like, oh, if you follow these five steps, you know, you get, like, all A's and whatnot. Like, he was sort of, like, a, like those people that would kind of sell their services and whatnot. Like, it was just very, very weird, to be honest. Um, but other than that, he's just, he's a really good professor in general, like a, a, in terms of a person, but in terms of actually teaching the course, um, he seemed to really have like this mindset, or I seem to notice that, um, he didn't really seem to, um, take much interest in it. Like he always seemed to look very, very depressed and sad. And I guess he's doing this mainly because, you know, uh, it pays well, I guess, you know, um, but I think as, as his, at his age, you know, he should, um, be doing something that he enjoys and not, you know, teaching a bunch of college students, you know. Uh, how to play soccer. I don't know. I just think someone else could have taken a spot and they would have maybe made me stay a bit longer. I don't know. Um, but yeah, honestly, um, that was kind of it. I think the best part for me would be this one time when uh, class was canceled and we had to sign in and, uh, you know, to show that we were, you know, in class and whatnot. And one of my teammates decided to, um, you know, he decided to like, or he kind of suggested that we should just, you know, go out or we should go to the back gate, open it, and start playing. And then after like maybe five or ten minutes, we waited, and then some other guys came, and then we told them our plan. And then after that, we just kind of played, you know, a full like an hour and thirty minutes, you know, without the the professor telling us what to do. And it was actually pretty fun for the most part because we actually felt kind of free for once, you know. We weren't, you know, forced to do things that you know no one really cared about because honestly, I think most people came here just so they can play soccer. Like I think that was the only reason why. And I think I did um, my best game yet. I maybe blocked like two or three goals. I passed uh, a few times. So I kind of helped, you know, um, keep the opposition at bay sometimes. But honestly, I would say that I just had the better teammates. You know, they were just uh, much, much better. And we won. And in the end, I kind of earned everyone's respect because as people were leaving, you know, I was giving them like high fives. You were kind of like saying like, hey, you know, good game and everything. And I just felt kind of um, accomplished in that aspect. But... That was my only, um, I guess, highlight of that. But I guess in terms of like another highlight, it would also be that I got a pair of free cleats because one of my classmates, he was buying a new one. And he was telling people, hey, do you want like on my cleats? And they say no. And he asked me and I said, sure, you know, because I, I don't know how much. I don't, I never, I've never worn cleats before, you know. And I think they go for around like 70, so they were quite lengthy too. I think they were the Mercury 2 or some shit like that. I don't really know, to be honest. But I got a fair pay, I got a, a, I got a free pair of cleats at least, so I guess my experience was, wasn't too bad. Honestly, I just quit mainly because, you know, I didn't, I didn't really feel what the professor was feeling. I didn't like his grading style too. Um, one time also too, um, he made us pin out like fucking 50 pages. 
you know, of like articles on how to play soccer and shit. And I thought it was useless because, you know, like, are we really going to be, you know, talking about this stuff, you know, because this is a sports class, you know, you should be more active. You know, this isn't a English class where you sit down for like an hour and 45 minutes and, you know, listen to the professor. No, this is a class where you're supposed to be very, very active. That's the point, right? So, yeah, but um, honestly, overall, um, soccer for me, I was still kind of enjoy it in terms of like the video game aspect. But in real life, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I'll be better. I don't know if I'll be, if I'll ever be shit. Like, I honestly don't know what my expectation is now. But, um, you know, I still enjoy it. Um, playing the simulations on FIFA and PES, I still like soccer, but I think in real life, I will, um, obviously, uh, I won't be as good because, you know, I just don't practice, I don't have the motivation, and I just don't have the drive to become one of the best soccer players in the world, you know, I just prefer to play the video games instead. Maybe you can attribute that to my lack of, you know, laziness, but honestly, you know, at least I tried out the sport, okay, but I wish I should have dropped out earlier because... I dropped way past the deadline date and I got a W. And for those of you that don't know what a W is, a W is pretty much a whip stroll. And it means that um, you basically pussy it out of the class and your grade doesn't really affect, or like nothing really happens to your grade and whatnot. But um, you know, if you get too much, then it'll look kind of bad when you transfer, when you graduate. It will show the colleges that, you know, you're not really fully committed. You know, like why are you dropping us out of these classes so many times and whatnot? But yeah, um, that should be it for my soccer video. Nothing really too interesting. Um, I think my next video will be more interesting for sure because, you know, this was something that I had not anticipated, but it happened. So maybe it was my fault, maybe it was not my fault. But anyways, um, look forward to more of these gameplays uh, sooner or later. Um, last year was more of an exper experimentation on new videos, and now I'm just going to go back to my uh, bread and butter, I suppose, of uh, video gameplays. So thank you for watching my soccer video, um, hopefully you've enjoyed the gameplay, even though if the story isn't that good, but for sure the next video will be more interesting, that's definitely for sure. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.